Check, check. What's going on guys? In tonight's live stream, we're going to be talking about panel pulling and seal pulling. Right, we're, doing, we're doing a basic 101. I'm going to be breaking down the kind of things you need to know. I don't have any I don't have any tools and stuff, but just the basic uh, fundamentals and and breaking into uh, panel pulling so that you can start doing a lot more bottom loading. Um, let me think if there's anything else. Yeah, that's it. Let's do it. Okay.
What's going on, guys? And welcome to Window Tinting Business, where we strive to inform, inspire, and improve you as a professional. As always, my name is Patrick, and if you're interested in window tinting as a side job to improve your current skills or as a full-on career, start right now by subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell notification if you uh, if you want to be notified whenever we go live or whenever we uh, update new videos as well. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, yep, this is our Tuesday night live stream. We do it every Tuesday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, every Tuesday, except for a quick announcement, um, we're not going to be doing um, Tuesday night live streams for the next two weeks. Not on Tuesday, at least, because I because next Tuesday is Christmas, and the following Tuesday is New Year's Day. And um, I don't want to do it, and I don't think you guys want to watch it either. Not on a day like that. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be doing it the Wednesday. So not this. Not, uh, so this upcoming live stream is going to be on Wednesday, not Tuesday, and the following one's going to be Wednesday, not Tuesday, just so it doesn't land on like, you know, really, you know, a holiday essentially. So, quick announcement, just so you guys know. Um, bum, 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 bum. let's do some quick shout outs here. Uh, who we got Armando Paul in the house, Adrian Flores in the house, Hummel's house, of tent in the house, Jaber, what's going on? Mike Powell, of course, y'all just give me trash. I was a few minutes late, a few minutes. And really I was, I was like dead on time. So I started the stream with my, with my software and it just wouldn't go. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, okay just waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I totally forgot like I have to start it in my software and then there's multiple steps and I forgot and I was just kind of sitting there and then I see you guys chatting up about me being late I'm like no I'm not late and then and then I, yeah I guess I was a little bit whatever whatever we're good y'all we're good <laughs> uh Kzorma Kzorma Kali Zorma Ah, uh, yes. Super chat. $5 super chat. Definitely appreciate it. First one of the night. Really, really awesome view. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> uh, but just give some quick out shout outs, whatever. What's going on, guys? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Tropical shade tending in the house as well. What's going on? Roger Franco. Just giving some love to everybody. To everybody. Uh, looks like everything looks good here. All right, tonight, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about some uh, some panel pulling, some sweep removal, um, so that we can get into some bottom loading, really, to be honest. And it's like really, really is one of my favorites. Uh, but before we get started, as always, let's go ahead and talk about some of the sponsors that are making this live stream possible. And uh, oop, uh, let me see where we at here. And first and foremost, um, this live stream is sponsored in part by Soak Shield. Soak Shield is the number one microfiber absorbent rope. Right, right microfiber, oh, oh, microfiber braided absorbent rope. If you guys don't know, if you guys have been on Mars for the last year, so what Soak Shield is is a, it's a it's a microfiber braided rope that's installed between the film between the film, between the glass and the deck, is to help absorb excess moisture, especially when you're doing front windshields. As you guys know, with uh, technologies and cars getting better and better and more electronics in there, um, the chances of damaging those electronics are greater, especially I've seen some in, I've seen videos of some of you catch uh, doing front windshields and y'all are putting like a gallon of water down there. So um, this product is just a really awesome product. If you guys want some more information about Soak Shield, check them out, SoakShield.com. Also, uh, if you're looking to pick up a Soak Shield, then uh, go ahead and ask your manufacturer. And if they don't carry Soak Shield, bother them until they do. I don't know why they should have it already. If not, they're, uh, they're a little slow here. Also, this live stream is in part sponsored by CertifiedTinder.com, your premier online training center. Um, I've been talking about this for, for almost a month, so maybe a little bit more. I do need to let you guys know that as of right now, the, the, the release date has been pushed back to February 1. Um, just because we're, you know, we're, we have to crank out a, a number of videos, me, uh, my partner, Matt, and, um, and there's, there's, a, there's definitely some back end um, things that they be taken care of as well with the website and another partner of ours, my father here. Um, so we really just want to make sure that it is, it is when it's launching, it's launching the way we want it to. So as of right now, like I said, I've been announcing that the tentative date would be the 1st of January, but it does look like we're going to be on February 1 as of right now. So again, we're going to be going, we're going to have a, a, a library 
of tutorials, how to's. Um, first and foremost, just starting off with like the very basics of things. But Matt and I are going to be uploading new videos once a week, both of us. So there's going to be two videos uploaded per week. We're going to be there when we upload the videos as well, so that we can answer any Q and A's or questions, concerns uh, in regards to that video, and you know, kind of help out as much as we can, and a bunch of other goodies as well coming along. That's CertifiedTenor.com. And last but not least, let me get some of these things out of the way here. <clears throat> Last bounce, last sponsors for this uh, live stream is you guys. You guys are phenomenal at uh, taking care of your boy, taking care of the channel um, through through uh, super chats. If you guys don't know what super chat is, you guys saw just saw it up on the uh, live show on the chat here that uh, you're able to go ahead and donate to the channel. All proceeds do go ahead um, help to support the channel. Help me, you know, get more things, better lighting, better. Blah, 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 blah. I like to like get the best top-notch equipment I can so that I can make this whole thing look good for y'all. So um, so big shout outs last week was by far the one of the one of the most engaging super chat nights that I think this this live stream has ever had, to be honest. So of those of you guys that were a part of that last week, definitely appreciate it again. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and keep on moving on here. No intro, bam. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing tonight. And what time is it right now? 9.44. Looks like we're good. We're about four minutes behind schedule, actually. Okay, it's all right. Um, let me go ahead and pull up some stuff. So when we are talking about panel pulling, reason to panel pull sweet pull is that you're going to be you're going to be bottom loading this film. You know, you know, I guess some people could pull the panels, pull the sweeps for for a top load, maybe so that they don't have to tuck as much. But I, I think that seems that seems a little weird. Some people could do it, I guess. Um, but bottom loading, I prefer bottom loading. If you guys don't know bottom loading, haven't tried bottom loading. Um, I never did it before. I got to the shot that I'm at now because I just didn't know how to pull panels. And I was at the point where I can top load everything, no problem. And I was too, I was, I was, cause I was never taught how to do it. I didn't want to break anything on cars. So that's why I never did bottom loading. And I even boosted, uh, if you guys watch some of my older videos, I, I even say that like, I've never pulled panels a day in my life type thing. And, and now it's like, it's my preferred method. And if it, 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 the only reason why I would top load is if like, um, if there's some sort of reason as to why I can't pull the door panel, or can't pull the seal or I don't, you know, then, then I just kind of, I, I, I go to a top load and I'm not one or the other. It's just really a matter of time. I know how to pull a lot of doors. So it's quicker for me to pull the panel and then bottom load it. But um, I know that like if I get to certain cars, I don't know how to pull the panels or I don't know how to pull the sweeps. And in that case, if I have the time, I'll kind of figure it out. But if I don't have the time, I just top load it. You know, I shrink it on the outside and then I top load it and, and uh, call it a day. But uh, one of the first ones we're going to be looking at, we're going to be watching a video here. And one of the first ones is going to be just a basic pull so <clears throat> some cars what you're going to be able to do is just basically pull it off pull back the top portion of the panel and you're able to pull the sweep out entirely right there so that's gonna be the first one here and i'm gonna go ahead and pull up a video quick video a minute 34 seconds here i want to make sure that we're not getting any advertising things of that nature popping up here and of course we will All right, bear with me here. So the first video is going to be a, uh, let me see here. It looks like a Ford F-250. So yeah, we're, this is just a, a, just a top. We're going to be pulling the, the panel back and then rip, uh, not ripping, but yanking the, the seal out of here. So let me go ahead and get it here. Let me switch over to my share screen. Boom. And let's move over here. And I'm going to try to keep an eye on the audio, make sure that we're not like blowing your eardrums out. Here we go business uh, we're gonna do a whole new lineup of videos we're gonna be focusing on how to pull panels um, a brand new thing that I've been doing since I've been at this brand new shop uh, one of my guys named Tony here that works here uh, he showed me how to do panels and he is a rock star at it um, Tony's I've been doing do nothing but tucking film for I don't know how many years so much better when you can pull a panel and it's just a lot cleaner a lot easier we can bottom load um, here I got an F 250 I don't know what year it is 
but this happens to be a crank down, but automatics are the exact same thing. So just go ahead and pop out this right here. Oops. <laughs> and go ahead and roll it down all the way. And come over this way. So what you want to do is we're going to pull, there you go. We're going to pull right on here. Don't pull on this gasket. You're going to pull right on the plastic and you're just going to pull up. There's a lip holding it. You're just going to pull all the way back, all the way across. There we go. And just pull it back and pull straight up. That's pretty much it. And then uh, once you're done uh, with this, Tony showed me, all you have to do is take your... Boom. Okay. So uh, let's uh, switch back here. No intro. Boom. Okay. So, I mean, that's not... I mean, some of these videos are kind of... <laughs> hard for me to watch I'm like Ugh. <laughs> but anyways so that is just your basic top pulling the top off yanking the seal out one of the tricks that I was mentioning here is that uh, to get the seals back in especially if you're just popping the top um, is that I'll run either my I'll run my sprayer down that edge here let me pull it back right out here for you you see this edge right here where it sits on the actual door itself I'll wet that down because sometimes you'll have to slide you can't just place where the where the sweep is gonna be. You have to slide it into place. So if you get it wet, it tends to help lubricate it as well, um, and it slides a little bit easier. So I'll wet it on this channel and I'll wet it on top as well because I want to. I want uh, the panel to be able to slide over the sweep as well. So that is basically your your first step in in doing a, a panel pull. Uh, let me see if I can see another one. <clears throat> Nissan Altima's is a really good one that is just a just another one. Let me go ahead and pull this one up here real quick. Hey guys, Patrick here with Window Tinting Business. Uh, today we have a Nissan Altima uh, 2015. Um, I'm going to show you how to pull the window seals out of this vehicle here. I'm going to show you on the door and on the back on the back passenger door as well. Um, and then obviously it's the same as the other side. Um, so with this, what you want to do is there's going to be a lip you want to pull up and the seals are stuck in. So you just want to pull up here. Once you get to the end, I'm feeling a little bit of a resistance. There's probably, there is a screw that's holding this section off right here. So instead of getting a screw and pulling that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here where I have a lot of room and just pull up the seal, just like that. And once I get to about here where I start getting resistance on that lip, I'm just going to pull outward. Just like that. Okay, then you can roll it up. So as you can see, that one, it's really not that hard um, when you're pulling up and yanking on these seals and panels and whatnot. Uh, Nissan, Ultima, uh, like Nis a lot of Nissans are really easy to go ahead and do this. And you'll learn, like the Kias are really easy to do as well, like like the Kia uh, or the Hyundais. Hyundais, like Sonatas and, and Elantras, they're all pretty much the same. So certain cars are really easy and certain cars are a huge pain in the butt. And you'll ju it's just like one of those things that you're going to learn that it's going to be one of these three processes. So this is just basically the first process. Notice again that we did not pull. Second process here, so that's the first one, was just pulling back the top and yanking the sweep out. Second process would be to actually pull this, this, uh, this cap off and unscrew the screw behind there so that this entire panel can pull back. And let me see if I can go ahead and pull a video up on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this Honda Accord one is a good one here. Y'all didn't see that. Hey guys, Patrick here with Window Tinting Business, where we strive to inform, inspire, and improve you as a professional. Today I'm going to do another panel pulling video. This one we have a Honda Accord. This is a 2011 uh, coupe. No, not coupe, sedan, excuse me. And uh, this works with 2008 through 2012. Um, this particular one, uh, the weather strip is connected to the panel and it's pretty, pretty deep. Um, so you can't just pull up and try to get it out because you won't get enough clearance all the way around. So this particular one, we do have to remove the entire door panel. Um, but it's super easy and I'll go through it here. 
whoa. Actually, this is uh, not the video that I was thought it was gonna be. But anyways, that's gonna be like the third, third video. Um, not the third video, third process. So this one actually is a pretty good video um, to explain that the weather strip here, like you noticed on the F-250, you also noticed on the Nissan Altima that the weather strip was not connected to the door panel. In this particular situation, the weather strip is connected to the door panel. Um, so you, 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 you can probably pull it up, but it's really difficult to get it back in. So when if that's the situation, then you have to pull the, the entire door panel off. Um, and some people might debate whether that's quicker or easier or what whatnot. Um, I just like pulling door panels if I have enough time to do it and I know what I'm doing, then I'm gonna gonna go ahead and do that. Let me see if there was another video. No. So we're gonna continue on with this video. So essentially, step one, let me switch over here. Bam. So first process is see if you can just pop the seal. Pop the top. Don't you don't have to remove the, the top cap. Uh, or the cap to the front um, where the door handle is. Now, if you don't, if you feel don't feel comfortable and you want a little bit more room, you can go ahead and take that cap off, unscrew the screw, and um, and release the top portion of the panel so you can pull it back. Um, and then the third and final process would be a full door panel removal. Now, a full door panel removal isn't that bad. It's not as bad as most people say they are you just have to know what you're doing when you're doing a full door panel removal and and there's it's very similar most cars are similar but some are different in particular ways like lexus's like you have to pull the total door panel off there's a lot of connectors to the doors um and and you have to release the pins off the off the weather strip so that you can reinstall it and clip it back in later on i think i have a lexus video let me see here No, I don't have a Lexus video. I thought I did, but I know. But this is this is more really helpful too. Um, Lexus is it does take a little bit more time, but when you're when you're messing with like the IS two fifty, um, and, and where it's literally like an inch in the front or or two inches, or if there's a speaker in the way, there's no room zero. So you can't top load. You can, but then you gotta like only squeegee the top portion of the back part of the door, roll the whole door up, but crease it, crimp it, and fold it in a way that it's not gonna crease, and then wet it, and then slide it. It's just a big, huge pain in the butt, just bottom load. Just bottom load. Um, so, so this is gonna be the third method. This is removing the panel altogether. Now, again, most of the time, there is a panel that's gonna be covering a screw here behind the door handle. Um, you're gonna lift this section typically because there's usually a screw here holding it, one to two. Sometimes there's screws underneath, sometimes there's screws under this way. Usually what you do is you unscrew one, unscrews two, and you just kind of pull from the bottom and um, they'll start popping. Now, if they pop and then it's stuck and you, you get resistance, sometimes there'll be like another screw, screw hidden behind this panel right here. Now, if you do get stuck, don't be afraid. I, I'm actually gonna start releasing even more bottom loading videos, like not bottom loading, but panel pulling videos, just because I want a lot more out there for people to learn. But really, once you get started in panel pulling, um, you, you kind of get the drift real quickly. So we'll go ahead and uh, finish off this video because this is a full door panel video. So let's go ahead and keep going here. Door, there's a little clip on the very top. Make sure you push that down. Uh, this as you remove it. So then that panel just comes out just like that. And then there's a little little panel right here, right where the door handle is. Uh, just get it from the front end and dig your pick in there. And all you're gonna do is just gonna pop that door open. Alright. From here, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the two screws out of here. That's one. That's two. Two little screws, tiny screws. It goes right there on the floor. The one in the door handle, a little bit bigger. It's silver versus black, and it looks just a little bit different, but just remember this one goes into the door. The other two go right there. 
All right, and from here you just have to pull the panel. I do have a little bit of lip at the very top, to the front, so I can just push that, pull that. And once you get it going, get it off the bottom, and just pop the rest. And then from here, just gonna pull straight up. Mm -hmm. and out, up and out. Just like that. Now you can go ahead and uh, work on the windows doing bottom loading. So let's go ahead. All right, let me see here. Put my mic back up. Okay, so yeah, so that was pretty simple. Again, you're gonna be popping the bottom, pulling the bottom up. It's kind of like the the Wrangler, <coughs> and it'll always catch on the very top. And then you can just either slide it out. This one was a little bit harder, um, where it looked a little bit more difficult because I had a speaker in the front end. You, I probably could have just popped that speaker out and then and had a little bit more headroom. But that's pretty much the gist here. Um. So let me see if there's any other videos I had. I know there's some, let me see here. Ba, 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 ba. Let me switch this over here. That's a full, like a full door removal. Um, and if you can't, if you don't have videos that, that I have, or you can't find videos that I have put up, um, there are definitely a lot of videos online. So you can just search what kind of car it is and, and go ahead and do so. Um, if you're working like Audis pre- 2019 pre 2018 um it is so much easier to pull a panel pull the whole door panel and bottom load than trying to top load an audi because for those of you guys that, that have been in the game y'all know that those are tight tight and it's just a pain in the butt to work with game changer when you uh game changer when you when you can bottom load uh, and funny, I think the 2018s and 2019s now on the most of the Audis, you can just kind of pull the top and pull the seal out. So it's even easier now before you have to pull the full door panel off. And that's just the, like the, the A3s, A4s, A5s. Like, but when you're getting into the when you're getting into the um, the SUVs, the just the front doors, just the removals. Those front doors on the SUVs, like the Q7s, Q5s. Oh my God, they're a pain in the butt to top load. You gotta bottom load them. Gotta. So let me see if there's any more videos that I think might be helpful. Honda Accord. Mm -hmm. Wrangler. Honda Civic. I guess I can show a Honda Civic. This Honda Civic isn't too, too bad. Um, what I'm going to see is is that... Well, hold on. Got like an advertising going in my ear. Um... So I'm going to pull the panel off of a full Honda Civic. Um, but this one, I, do, I believe that the door handles actually stay connected. And a lot of them are, are doing that nowadays, actually, to be honest. Um, a lot of cars I, I've noticed. Uh, yeah. So let me, let, let's take a look at that video. Hold on. Today. I want to do a Honda intro. Civic 2017. This is the new model, not the hatchback, the sedan. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to take uh, the strips out of here. You don't have to pull the full panel. Um, they're super easy. Uh, with the back door first, uh, you want to go ahead and pull this pillar off. Just like that. Just hold on by one clip right there. And then from here, you just want to pull straight back. And it's going to pop on you. Just like that. And you want to just pull all the way through. And there is one clip here. It's always a little troublesome. So just hit a bone in there. And pop it. That way you have all that room right there. And from here, just keep pulling straight back. You need to get in the corner. Pull straight back. So this whole section will pull back. Basically the top half will pull back. The door handle is not connected. Um, so you're gonna be good right there. You're just gonna need a little bit of force. Uh, there's a couple of those clips in there. Um, just holding it in. And from here, just pull straight up and out, just like that. Okay, so then that was, like I said, a real easy one. But see, here's the thing. This is why people get really, really nervous about top loading or bottom loading and pulling panels. Did you notice how much pressure I put on that door to pop it out? Um, you, like, you don't want to be the Hulk and just rip the damn top off because you could end up, like, bending it. It is plastic. 
Um, but it's the same the same concept. You can't be you can't be too timid and afraid, but you can't be like I'm just gonna rip this damn thing off. Like you have to kind of know what you're doing. Um, so that's why you saw me kind of struggling at the beginning. It's not that I couldn't do it or that I was uh, that, but what I was doing is I was putting a little bit of pressure on it. Okay, so that wasn't working. Put a little bit more pressure. I know this thing's going to pop off, but when is it going to? Put a little bit more pressure. So you can, I keep adding a little bit more and more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and pop, until those panels do pop. What I wouldn't want to do is I wouldn't want to pull as hard as I can, and I know it's going to come off, but maybe I rip and break things instead of just popping the panel like it's supposed to. So you kind of want to a little finesse but you gotta you gotta know when to, to 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 put a little force behind it too but incrementally okay you're not you don't you, you don't just get to just see how strong you are on this dang panel because that's how you're gonna end up damaging things and then it's a bigger pain in the butt later on because then then it costs you a lot more to do so obviously so um ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. let me see what time it is 10 o'clock super early but you know what? We're almost on time for our, our Q and A. Wow. So yeah, I think um, I think yeah. Uh, like I said, bottom loading. I know a, I know a few cats that only do bottom loading. And again, I would do uh, I would do um, I would do bottom loading a hundred percent of the time. But there are some cases that I just don't do bottom loading, and you're gonna learn it too, especially if you're gonna start pulling panels like the um the 07 series of the chevy silverado that's not something you want to take off because i remember i did it takes like two minutes to take it off but then it takes uh it takes probably i don't know 25 minutes to put back on and it's a huge pain in the butt like and sometimes it's not even done right so you find out which cars not to do really quickly but then you find out which cars like basically any hondas 2018 and up they like they all pulled the tops the new crvs pop the tops pop, 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 pop. like it can be done these cars can be done so much quicker and why too keep in mind too why would i do why would you bottom load number one let's just say it's a it, it, i feel like it is a cleaner install but um also it's faster in my opinion as well because i don't have to i don't have to if i was going to top load i have to wipe down the outside then i have to cut the film a particular way because i use a plotter right so i'd have to cut it in a particular way so that i have to put it on the glass and then shrink it and then and then i have to weed it then i have to put it up and then i have to go here um, and then i can top load um but then don't forget i gotta wipe the outside again because i've uh i've already wet it and put film on there so it's gonna be wiped down again so that's like twice already right um but you know you can save time because i don't have to shrink on the outside most of the time most of the time i don't have to shrink uh film when i bottom load there's only like one or two cars i think in the cord honda cord for sure and then one more other car <laughs> but most of the time i don't even have to shrink so then that's why i take that's why i prefer bottom loading because it's faster it's just most of the time it is faster so so yeah let me go ahead and uh check out our our uh, chat here let's see how we're how we're working and moving along well i know y'all see that's why i love y'all 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 always be talking in here and i love it i love it love it love it uh we have a good community i think very good community um bum, 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 bum. i'm going to get rid of this right here what am i doing here <laughs> uh okay so um yeah i, I think that we, i think that's good i think we're gonna wrap it up on the topic section not a lot nothing heavy but you know like i said i'm not trying to get these these uh live streams going two hours or so but you guys i think get the gist get the get the general knowledge of what's going on um if you're interested in bottom loading again um just see if you can pop the top and pull it um or if you need more room, try to pull, take, try to take the the door handle section uh, loose, you know, take the screw out so you have a little bit more room. Or you're gonna have to take the full door panel off. Um, it, like I said, once you get your feet wet, once you start running through it, and I have a lot of videos, uh, not a lot, I'd say about a dozen videos or so. And I kind of stopped because I was thinking to myself, I'm like, geez, these are these are all kind of blending together. But I should probably continue to do the bottom loading videos or at least the panel pulling videos because they are. They're they're helpful, especially very specific models. 
So, and then you can you guys can always ask questions, especially in the group on Facebook and Facebook. A lot of good and uh, educated cats on that one, that realm as well. Let's go ahead and uh, at this time, let's go ahead and move over into our Q and A section of the uh, the night here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it over. Do, 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 do. There we go. And just give me. Oh, I guess I've been off. There we go. Now I'm center. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and go through the uh, through the Q and A's. You know how I, I like to start all the way at the top. Now is the time. If you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, now is the time. Don't be shy. Get up in there in that live stream in that uh, in that chat. Looks like we got about thirty people watching right now. So don't be shy. Now is the time. Um, as always, I'm going to go ahead and start sifting through from the very top. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oh, Daniel, Daniel Reno with the uh, $20 super chat. Definitely appreciate that, my friend. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Kazorma. I hope I'm not like just like trashing that. I hope it's like, I hope it is Kazorma and not like some like California Zorma or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, she says, uh, social works just as you say, I double the ropes up. That's, I, you know, I never even thought about doubling up the ropes. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Not too bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Soak Shield's definitely a lifesaver, especially when you do like crazy cars like like the Tesla Model S, the Model 3s, um, the Xs, um, you know, just or like the BMW i3s. Like these cars are not cheap cars. The last thing you want to do is be on the hook for some really expensive damage. Y'all be smart about it. Come on now. If you don't got Soak Shield in your box, y'all got to do something about it. What I need, what I need is I need like equity share in like <laughs> in Soak Shield. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's my boy though. I I hope he sells a million of them. I hope he sells a million of them. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> That's right, baby. Once you go, once you pull back panels, you'll never go back. So true. Yeah, Scud 007. I bro, I know. Never bottom loaded before all. Oh, okay, so bo bottom loading does take a minute. Just so y'all know, like the it, I tried like those bottom loaders, like those handles, the with basically the gasket wizards on hand handles. I never felt like I got enough room. You know, like a quarter of an inch. Uh, you know, it's not enough for me. Like when you pull a full panel, you're talking an inch half an inch to i mean probably three quarters of an inch to an inch that's a lot of room um so um if you tried bottom loading with those tools but then like have never tried it with actually pulling sweeps or or pulling door panels uh try it it's a game changer for sure for sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, jaybird what's going on brother what's going on jaybird I'm all for learning, baby. <laughs> Jaybird says I like hairs in my tent. Stop it. Stop it, Jaybird. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, uh, someone said, Ar Armando Paul says, uh, bottom loading, especially if you're using a plotter, can be can be useful, but if you're hand cutting, it takes too long. Um, you know, again, so most of the cars that I have to do, you don't have to, uh, I don't have to shrink. So I just, you know, I lay I lay my film up, I cut one side, cut the bottom, shift it, cut the other side, shift back, tack it down, roll it down, cut the top, boom, 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 I'm ready to rock now. You know what I'm saying? It takes two seconds for me to pull. Most of the time, I can get a bot. I can get a panel off or, or uh, a sweep. I can get a sweep out in probably five to ten seconds, maybe. And that's the, on the long end. And if I have to pull a panel, it might take me a minute to pull the panel. But like, I really do feel in my heart of hearts that it is a cleaner install, a bottom load is a cleaner install, especially because you know you got to put the top up, and then usually people like fold it and they get those little kind of creases and then you got to work those little creases that are on the sides out with a with a chiseler and the and heat and some love um or you get really good and you don't even crease the top loads either which you know some the veteran cats can do that as well so you know and it's it's not you know and i'm not saying 
bottom loading is the way and I'm not saying top loading is the way, but what I am saying, what I am saying is that there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. And it, when you know a thousand ways, when you get in a pinch and you're like, oh, what do I do? Let me try a different method. Let me try this angle. Let me try this because this isn't working. And then that way you can, you can, um, you know, you can problem solve. That's, a, that's, you know, that's a lot of, of window tending also is that you, the time management and in problem solving skills and how am I going to get this accomplished in the most and best way. So, um, so yeah, that's why, that's why I always encourage, and I never knock people, um, you know, if they tried it a different way, if they want to try, yeah, I've seen guys spray the, the, you know, miss the air. I've seen guys put booties on. I've seen guys, you know, whatever, whatever, I'm whatever. If it's cleaner, it's gonna make me more money. If it's make me faster, I don't care. I'll put a duck on my head for all I care. If it's gonna make me 10 twice as fast. <laughs> <coughs> okay here let's keep going here I'm reading through the comments right now, so take this. Give me a moment here. Oh, yeah. And I'm not saying, I'll be honest with you. So, um, Alpha Panure 2017 says the shop I work with now, I've never seen them pull a door panel and they don't have any trash in their, in their film, but everybody has their own techniques. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not saying I believe it's a cleaner install, but like if you have like felts, it's so much easier. If you have felts, you don't even have to tape the, the, the sides, you know, it's so much easier if you're bottom loading to just install. And you won't get those little felts or little, little, you know, there's less shifting around. Um, and I've seen some top loaders that only top load that, that are clean. Matt's a top loader. Matt doesn't bottom load and he's clean, clean. So yeah, I'm not, I believe it's cleaner for me. I should probably clarify that. Yeah, it's cleaner for me. Um, but even my top loads are still clean. So I mean, maybe I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> uh, okay, keep going. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Jaybird asks, Daniel Reyna, how do you not get creases? Are you talking about bottom loading or top loading? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good conversation we're having in here. Not a fan of power tools on plastic panels. That's why, because when you grow up to the big boys... You'll, you'll change your mind. <laughs> just kidding, Mike. Just kidding, Mike. Just joshing with you. If y'all don't know, Mike Powell and me are uh, are, are good friends. So if you hear me uh, busting his balls a little bit, ain't it, I'm not being mean to him. He's just I'm just joking around with him. I'm not being mean to anybody. Do, 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 do. Ah, yeah. So, so Mike says I don't. I'm not a fan of door uh, power tools on door on door plastic doors because of. Oh, and I lost it. Because of the torque over tightening and cracking panels. That's all. Um, yeah, I usually keep there. That's a the. You can change the torque on my uh, on my drill that I have, my power drill that I have, and it's usually pretty low. I'm like. I'm like down at like between four and six. So like I keep the torque low. Yeah. If I, and it goes up to like 20. So if I kept it at 20, I'd rip the hell out of some doors. Yeah, definitely. Definitely something that I probably should have mentioned. If you're going to use a power drill, make sure the torque is low. Thanks, Mike. Ba, 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 ba. New pilots don't pop. Mm. Mm. 
Marco, we could do this. Manny, <laughs> there we go. The dude says, uh, those new door panels can be upwards of $400 each to replace. Pull them with caution. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you should see me pull panels on a, on a C300. I'm yanking the crap out of these things. And that's a $40,000 minimum. <laughs> the Mercedes C300, by the way, not... I, I hear 300 I don't want you guys thinking something yeah the Mercedes ones yeah I mean there is some risk but I haven't broken a door yet you know what I shouldn't say that I haven't broken a door but one door that I will not pop the tops on you have to pull the full door panels on are BMWs and I used to be such a Beamer guy like total total BMW guy until I started pulling panels and then I pull the panels on BMWs and they're made they're made of like these this uh woven fiber ish it's not it's not like it's um it's not carbon fiber and it's just like this woven fiber ish material and then the leather is wrapped around it i found out the hard way that when you pull the top that woven material ish stuff bends really easily and then it creases the leather and it doesn't look very good like it actually looks really bad but when i pull the panels off mercedes i'm yanking these pad boys and that thing is tough as nails um so that's why i kind of moved over to mercedes instead of bmw quick side note story for you guys Juan says, how do you score practice film? I'm having a hard time. Um, are you meaning like, like how do you get your hands on practice film, Juan? Um, or are you like, are you asking me how you cut practice film? I don't know. Uh, ask me again. <laughs> Clarify. The new Altimas has a, has dot matrix around the edge of rear quarter and rear window. What would what would the prep be? Um, <clears throat> are you talking about the new 19s? I know the new Altimas uh, are coming out. I haven't seen one yet, um, but around the dot matrixes on the doors, especially like a sedan, no, not, uh, certain sedans and coupes like BMWs have like the dot matrixes on the very back end. Um, I've heard a lot of people using the uh the 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 monkey the re the rewind to raw right um uh, check this out this is really good stuff um and here just it just gets it so so clean this has also been really kick-ass for like challengers and chargers as well so um definitely check it out i haven't tried it out yet first uh personally i just got this just last week and it you know it's it's the slow season. I haven't seen a Challenger or a Charger or anything of that nature. But soon, you'll see a video soon on that stuff. And I hear really good things about it. Moving along, moving along. Uh, okay. So, Juan, I'm just still trying to learn it. Just to let you guys know, this is kind of like a pseudo halfway I would say an intermediate. If you're just still fresh learning how to window tint, if you're still learning how to shrink back windows and install them, if you're just still learning how to sh hand cut, shrink, and top load, you need to learn that first and foremost. You got to walk before you can crawl. So once you feel comfortable with top loading and once you feel comfortable that you can get a car done in like an hour and a half to two hours, then you can start broadening out your 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 skills to, to maybe bottom loading or pulling panels and things of that nature. If you haven't done that, if you haven't gotten those skills down yet, I would not suggest doing bottom loading and I would not suggest pulling panels just yet. So you're going to bite off too much, too much too soon. You know what I'm saying? Just want to clarify that to everyone. And I do apologize. My voice is still kind of, ah, it's been like a week and a half. I think I got to go see a doctor and get some meds. Jaber, I have no idea what you just asked. Thanks. 
Thank mastered that Subaru cross. Oh, thanks master. Oh, bottom. Oh, we were talking about it. We were talking about that Subaru last week. I think. Good. I hope you got it. I hope you got it, brother. Adrian Flores asks, what kind of blades do you use for your plotter? Um, because I'm using tint, it's a 25-degree blade. Um, you use a 60-degree blade for PPF and I believe vinyl as well. Um, I've used a 60-degree blade on a vinyl. Um, yeah, you don't want to use a 60-degree blade on tint. It just doesn't work. I've actually tried it, and it's just it's no bueno because I, I only had that. That was the only blade I had. <coughs> um, <clears throat> just make sure to keep your blade clean, keep your blade sharp and uh just re replace it when they get dull like anything else but yeah that's a 25 degree blade ask i mean if you have a plotter probably best to call whoever you purchased a plotter with but most of the time i believe you can get blades from your manufacturers plotter blades <laughs> The Mercedes-Benz door panels are Ford Tufts. That's right, baby. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Ah, sorry. Tropical Shade Tinning said, uh, uh, should you stock some clips? Yes. I would definitely agree to do that. Yeah. One quick note, too. Um, you can get some, because not all, most of the clips are the same. And if you really wanted to, you could probably go to a junkyard. That might not even be a bad idea. Go into a junkyard and pop in panels. Um, but you can get, um, you can get clips, a stack of clips from like AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts, any car. O'Reilly's any car place will have the clips so you can keep those on stock because sometimes the clips do break do want to warn you guys I don't pull panels on cars that are 10 years old or older uh, reason being is because the clips that hold them in are usually plastic and over time though you guys know what happens with plastic plastic just they just they don't the pliability is gone and then they just break and it's just a nightmare because then you're sitting there with crazy glue and crazy ideas trying to figure out how to get this dang car back, put back together um, so save yourself the hassle if the car is seven to ten years old I wouldn't suggest pulling panels. I have maybe seven years would be fine ten years plus don't pull the panels you're, you're in a, for a world of pain World of pain. <laughs> and I'm not trying to skip questions here, but like like people are having conversations within the chat, which is totally fine. So I'm kind of like sifting through those to get to the questions that people are asking. So uh, don't don't mind me if I, I'm not trying to skip anyone's question, um, unless you're asking me what kind of film you think I should you should get, because then y'all should know that answer. Uh, RJ Von D or JR Von D. Wow, am I dyslexic? Wow. JR Von D asked if Rewind to Raw uh, helps get the uh, dot matrix to stick. It, it helps clean very, very, very well. Um, so, like the dot matrix or the ceramic coating, it, it, film is just not designed to stick to that. It's designed to stick to glass. But so, what you have to do is you got to get the glass that's between the dot matrix really, really clean, so that that so that the film can stick to that essentially. Um, and I've heard really, really, really good things about this. So, yeah, just pick yourself up a bottle. This is an eight, eight ounce bottle. I believe they come in normally eight ounce bottles. I've seen the little bottles too, but I think those are like little sample bottles. But um, a buddy of mine told me that a bottle, an eight ounce bottle like this should last about a month in your shop. Um, I have heard zero complaints, zero. I've heard nothing but praises of good things on this one. So, you know, and I, I and just to let you guys know, um, Rick McIntyre sent me these, um, sent me these samples, um, just like full disclosure, but I'm not like, uh, I'm not sponsored by them and he's not paying me to, to show you these. These are like, from, like most of the stuff that I show you guys and talk about, I, I, the products that I believe in, I show you guys and I tell you guys, cause I want you guys to know what's out there. And if there's crap out there, I'll tell you guys too. So hopefully I'll tell you in a way that doesn't get me in trouble with like someone's legal team. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Armando Paul, uh, in commercial tinting, would you ever still need to shrink anything? Most of the time, no. Hence, flat glass. So, um, so most of the time, no. You won't need to. You won't need to shrink on flat glass. Um, I have seen some guys use a little heat um, if they kept getting like. Um, you know, because maybe they didn't squeegee correctly and they get, keep getting like a little finger popping up. But uh, no, flat glass, you don't need a shrink. You just need to have wider, um, wider squeegees and the technique is a little bit different. So uh, no heat guns, that's a good thing. But you're working with bigger chunks of film. So like if you're working on a car door, that might be only, you know, what, maybe three square feet, two square feet. I don't know. Um, but when you're working on like sliders, you're talking 30, 40 square feet. So if you mess it up, it's a lot of money that you're going to be, that you're going to have to be replacing. So, um, so it has the pros and cons just to let you guys know, if you're an auto tinner and you're thinking about flat glass, auto tinners can be flat glass tinners, but flat glass tinners can't be auto tinners. Just so you guys know, fair warning. So and I think I, I I mentioned this before. I'm pretty sure a buddy of mine told me like auto tinners don't retire. They just start flat glass, laying flat glass. There's good money in flat glass, and that's a good way to to diversify your business. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Ah, uh, Juan Juan clarified it for me. He says uh, I meant how do you get sample film, practice film to learn with. Uh, uh, no, it's completely off subject. I'm trying to get my feet wet with uh, any advice. Okay, yeah. Call every manufacturer you can. Call them up, ask them for a sample roll. That's pretty much a really good way. That's a good way to to feel out everyone that's going to be the everyone's film, see which one might work best for you. But also they're going to send you, typically they'll send you 10 to 15. I've had people send out 50-foot rolls, like it's a half stack rolls. I'm like, what? So, um, but yeah, you usually get about one car one and a half cars out of a out of a sample maybe one car out of a sample roll um and that's a good way or you can just buy a full roll like a 36 or a 40 inch roll by 100 foot and you might be out maybe like you know if you go with a really affordable like max pro i think you can get it for like 140 bucks for like a 36 by 100 so that's an option too Boom. Tropical Shade Tinning with the $25 dono. Definitely appreciate that super chat here. Nothing to say here other than thank you. And as always, great live stream and topic. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. A thousand. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to all the other super chats that have been uh, so generous tonight. Definitely appreciate it, y'all. Um... <laughs> Best plotter, best software. Um, I use the uh, right now. I've been using the Roland GX four hundred. It's like a basic. It's a good standard Roland uh, plotter that a lot of people use. I believe they came out with a brand new one that I haven't had my hands on. Roland, if you're hearing and you're and you're watching the live stream and you want to sponsor me with one of your plotters, feel free to touch base with me. Um, but uh, I I like Roland. I messed around with the Jaguar before, um, but I've never actually purchased. Uh, you know, I've always gone into shops that have plotters, and if that's the case, um, the with the plotters that I have messed with, whether whether it was the uh, the Jaguar or another one, I can't remember, um, but the Roland was the easiest one for me. Software can, um, could vary. I do like film and vinyl design. That's that was a really good one. Um, you can use Precision Cut um, that Lumar uses, but I think they charge you double if you don't use their film. So uh, bad ones that I heard aren't really that great. Tintec 2020, I hear the software is always off um, and whatnot. Uh, but Film of Vinyl Design, I think, is a good one. Yeah, try, try to check him out. Daniel Reyna with a $5 super chat. Definitely appreciate the dono, my friend. Thank you, thank you. I did see here that you're going to be popping up some videos. Dad, definitely. I'd love to see some of these videos come out for sure. Let me know. Let me know if you need some help too. Uh, Daniel Rain, I don't know if you're asking a question to me or you're just talking in general. What about the tip that sprays like a fan? Do you get in? Uh, did you get info on that for tank sprayers? Oh yeah, I did. Hold on, let me see. <coughs> graph Tech, yes, Graph Tech is another easy one, another good one. Um, I've never actually used a Graph Tech, but um, 
but I know I know a lot of dumb people that got graph text and uh, they work just fine. So I'm assuming that they're easy, they're easy to use. So <laughs> let me think here. Okay, so spray. Uh, yes, let me see. I, I that was a really good question here. Let me see if I can pull up my email. Do 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 do. Not email actually. So uh, the question is, uh, did I get my, did I land any um, sources for fan sprayer, like the tips and also affordable handles? And I did. The answer is yes. So I'm going to pull up and give you guys the, uh, the scoop, the skinny on that one. Let me see here. Pull it up. One of our, one of the, one of my, uh, my uh, viewers actually looked it up and sent me the information. Solid solid let's see here Juan with a five dollar super chat definitely appreciate that my friend thousand thousand thank yous here mm -hmm. sorry I'm looking at um, I'm looking at my emails here see if I can find um, the email I had. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, FYI, Cole Steez. Oh my God, that was last week. That was last week. That was last week's big, big swinger on the on the uh, super chat. Cole's the one that contacted me and gave me the information on these uh, sprayers. So let me go ahead and uh, put this here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this here. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Okay, so here, let me go ahead and I am going to go ahead and put this. Copy link address. I'm going to add it into the chat here. Paste. That doesn't look right. No, because this is the Facebook one. Oh, I hate you. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I'm adding the link here. Bam. There it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. Take a gandy. Take a gandy at this here. Share. Screen share. Boom. Okay. So this is a place called uh, Spray Math. Uh, spray. Oh, wait, what is that? SpraySmarter.com. Um, so they do have these. These. Uh, here we go. Look at that. Uh, flat spray. Uh, flat fan sprayers. 650. Little, uh, other nozzles and things of that nature. Um, but let me see here. The whole point was, I don't know where it went, but the hand sprayers was like, they're normally like $55, like the most expensive part of an entire tank build besides the actual tank itself. Um, where did it go? I think it was like 16 bucks. Let me see here. I'm going to try to find it. These are the flathead sprayers, but this is this is the website you want to go to because they had they had the uh, the hand sprayers for like sixteen bucks, super cheap, super affo no, affordable, and this is like the, the source. I don't for some reason I don't know why I couldn't like source this uh, wholesale. Like I could only find it on like um, window tinting sites. So these these are the flathead sprayers, but let me see if I can find. Um, give me a second. I'm gonna trade back here so you guys don't see my emails. <laughs> Boom. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Check this out. Look at that. 1611. It's a dang same sprayer. Look at that. This thing, this puppy's running for like $55 on any other manufacturer website. So this, this with a used tank, you can get a tank set up together for for just over a hundred dollars like it was like 105 or 110 or something like that so this saves a lot of money a lot of money and if you are going to do a tank build um i did for some reason i got a 20 foot hose stick with a 30 foot hose 20 foot hose is just not long enough just quick reminder just to let you guys all know 
Um, but, 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 but yeah, yeah, that is uh, that is why um, <coughs> I did get those out here. So yeah. Uh, Juan, I did see the five dollar super chat. I don't know if I, I don't know if I thanked you for that again, but thank you again, thank you again. Um, uh, Armando Pohl asked, "How many different types of film there are in the flat gas field? A lot, brother, a lot." There's reflective, dual reflective, but it's you want to really do your research when you're ready to get into flat glass. That's a whole nother topic that we could probably get into. Um, but um, there's 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 single pane, there's double pane, and if you put the wrong film on the wrong glass, you can break stuff very easily. So be careful. Do your research. Make sure you check it out. Do your research before you're doing any flat glass. Uh, Jeff, Jeff asked, uh, on those F two fifties bottom curve seals, what would be the, would be a good technique to cut that pattern by hand? Um, I start on the high side and then go towards the front of the car, which, which you'll end up on the low side. So I start on the high side, the back end of the door where the door swings open. That's the back end. And I start cutting there and then I go down. Um, uh, but I mean, you can start from the bottom and go up too. It really wouldn't. It really wouldn't matter either which way. Don't be. Don't be too intimidated by that. Just make sure that you tack the film down really well when before you cut the bottom edge, and um, and that's just pretty much it. It's it's pretty much the same thing as the straight. It's just curved. Don't think too much about it. You'll be fine, my friend. Jaybird, use a sharpie on the bottom curve. Uh, Ralph Ed Pelt's channel is on somewhere else, my friend. Don't use a Sharpie. God, Jaber, come on. You're my boy. <laughs> Just use a use a blade. Don't be scared. <laughs> Just cut right, and you'll be fine. Uh, Jay Bird asks, can you get 200 mesh, mesh filters with sprayers? Yes, you can. I believe they're a red color. But, yeah, you can get a uh, a 200 mesh filter. I think they come with a 50. At least swap them out for a 100, but uh, a 200 is good as well. Mm -hmm. Jay Bird, I think, uh, I don't think the, the, uh, the handle itself was $16, and I think a tip was like 6 or something like that. So what is that? 22 22 is better than 55 that's what's up on one what's up dog what up all you're a little late my friend <laughs> nice 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 all right, looks like we're getting to the tail end of the questions. I finally caught up. Sorry, it just takes me a little bit of time. Um, let, let's go for another two more minutes. Any any last minute questions you guys have that I can go ahead and answer for you? Um, now's the time. Go ahead and shoot it out here. I think next week again, I'm going to be doing uh, the live stream on. Um, I'm going to be doing it on Wednesday, so the day after Christmas, not on a Tuesday, not our normal one. So so keep an eye out for that one. And uh, I believe I, I heard a good topic. Someone someone asked me, uh, someone brought up the, the good topic was, um, what are my thoughts on the future of auto tinting? Um, I think that's a really good one. I think I get, uh, we can get in some good topics on that one. Um, I think for right now, we're good. I believe that like anything else it could uh it could go away but uh you know just like just like innovation uh, you know with any innovation and with any new technology it's the death of certain fields but it's the birth of new fields so i think that could be a really awesome uh topic to cover i think next week after christmas um ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. Twenty eight bucks. 
I mean, you can get a full, you can get the full handle um, for like fifty. I mean, I can, I can only find the full handle everywhere for fifty five, um, from everywhere manufacturers wise. Like any other film manufacturer, they sell it for fifty five altogether. So, I mean, savings is savings still. Tropical shade tinning. Merry Christmas to you as well. Merry Christmas. I love that you say Merry Christmas. By the way, I'm not a fan of Happy Holidays. Just say Merry Christmas. Did that offend you? Sorry. Jaybird would say happy holidays right after that. <laughs> uh, Jaybird's my boy, though, so so I'll, I won't fault him for that. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for this evening. Again, don't forget <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> that our live stream is going to change to Wednesday. It's still 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it's going to be Wednesday next week, day after Christmas as well. Um, and let me go ahead and do a quick little let's do a, a quick super chat uh shout out and thank you again uh kazorma with a five dollar super chat daniel reyna with a twenty dollar super chat tropical shade tinning with a twenty five dollar super chat daniel reyna again with a five dollar super chat and juan with the five dollar super chat definitely appreciate it guys again from the bottom of my heart you guys are phenomenal so generous and definitely appreciate that um and thanks again to soak shield and soak shield.com make sure to check it out if you don't know what soak shield is get on it also as well um, our final sponsor from CertifiedTenor.com. We're, we're going to be going up Jan February 1st, I think is going to be the way the way we're going to go with it here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up at this time. Thank you again to everyone for tuning in. And you guys have, I won't talk to you until after Christmas, so everyone have a merry, merry Christmas. Be safe, be with your loved ones, and, um, and we'll talk soon. Y'all have a good one.